And no, the purpose of our incarnation is one purpose primarily, and that is individualization. Individualization. Right? That's our one purpose of being here. In other words, we now are self aware. We, at the moment of incarnation, become self aware and we become a person who now learns how to exercise their free will. You follow me with that? Because, and, and so therefore, a child who is who's conceived, so the soul incarnates shortly after conception and then dies at three months pregnancy, has already individualized. And when they pass into the spirit world, you can actually speak with spirits who nurse them to full health. Right? This actually occurs in the spirit world. Same as a stillbirth and same as an abortion. What makes it different to, to us in here then? Why did our um, in, what is it? individual life and individualization take why do we have to be here? <laughs> ah, there's somebody who doesn't want to be here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason why um, is because usually of the choices of others. Most children die because of the choices of others, not of their own choice. And this is one thing that we need to be aware of, is that our choices collectively really severely affect other people, including our children, and in fact our children mostly. Every child who's ever been aborted, who made that decision? The parent. Is that respecting the child's free will? No. No. Um, every child has ever died because of a miscarriage. And this is going to be hard for some of you ladies. Has died because of what? Because of the mother's emotions. And the father's. No, it's not just the mother's well. I, I thought it was like, what about conceiving? Um, okay, do the parents conceive the child, you know, the soul? Well, that's not what But a lot of people have sex nowadays without a desire to have a child, do they not? That's right, but isn't it the soul's choice to incarnate? No, the soul, at its first pristine condition, has to incarnate to begin the pain experience. So it still made the choice to have the experience. Yeah. It can't make a choice. Remember I said at that point, the soul can't make a choice. So what triggers that to incarnate? The, <coughs> the, there are a number of processes. The law of attraction and a, process, a mathematical process defined by God that says that every single soul will incarnate. So it's an energetic thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, there's a common belief today that incarnation occurs because of choice. Well, that's only the case if you're reincarnated. It's not the case for your first incarnation. Oh, okay. You're talking about first incarnation here? Mm -hmm. Always. But I haven't said anything about reincarnation Okay, yet. but I... Well, there's no way that we've had our first incarnation. Otherwise, we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't be able to sit here and listen to what we're talking about. Well, if this is your first incarnation, that's no, fine, isn't it? No. Why not? No way this is my first. <laughs> what about when you get deja vu experiences in other parts uh, of the world? Ah, well, all of these things can be explained. And they can explain, be explained far easier than looking at reincarnation. And often it's the simplest explanation that it happens to be the truthful one. All right? And maybe I'll explain some of the reasons for reincarnation when I explain to you how reincarnation actually occurs. Mm 